What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about some worthwhile investments for you to spend your money into. These are not going to be all things that are super cheap or super expensive. They are things that are going to be worthwhile you putting your money into that you'll get good use out of in the long term as well. So, what we're going to do is talk about a few items. I'll give you the reasons as to why I've picked these items. And I have done a part one to this, I think a few months ago now. It was quite a while ago. But you guys really enjoyed that. So, I thought, you know what, we'll make a part two. I scoured my bank and thought about ideas that could be worth mentioning and those are the ones i did come up with so if you do enjoy leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you have any other suggestions down in the comments i may use them in a future video if you do leave them like i said this is not going to be just random items that i pulled from my bank they are going to be things that i think you will get value out of in the long term as well and also some stuff that people do sometimes forget about that are worth mentioning in case you don't use them and if you don't then comment down below which ones you learned about and are now going to start buying anyway well, let's go Okay, so the first one that we're going to talk about is going to be perks or budget perks or even just actual best and slot perks as well. We'll talk about them in different stages, but to start off with, we'll talk about the budget perks. Now, if you don't have a ton of money, uh, but you are working on upgrading stuff for PVM, head over to the Invention Guild and just take a look at whether you can get some, yourself some nice budget perks, whether it's just a precise perk or something like that, or whether you're going to make yourself, I don't know, something like enhanced devotion, all this sort of stuff that can offer some incredibly good quality of life upgrades and also deep DPS increases as well. It is worth keeping in mind that sometimes it is going to be better to get yourself some budget perks than having none at all um, compared to getting like an upgrade in your PVM stuff. For example, especially at high levels too, if you get yourself a good set of perks, it is going to be cheaper probably and also better in terms of like like value return from spending all the money a dps and all that sort of good stuff um, than getting tier 92 so you could go from a tier 90 to a tier 92 and it could cost you an absolute fortune especially looking at magic um but then if you spend that much money on perks instead you could get a bigger dps return and you could also is that the stab directly through me uh you get a, <laughs> you get a better dps return but you can also spend a lot less money so perks are absolutely worth it whether they're budget whether they're not uh definitely something you want to look into this next one is something that is going to last you pretty much for the entire game and i have mentioned these in the past in different sort of videos things like uh items that are worth buying because they offer great dps increases all that sort of good stuff and that is going to be the gloves that i'm using cinderbane gloves like i say i've mentioned this before so if you've already heard all about this and you know about cinderbane gloves then just skip forward to the next one but for anyone who doesn't or maybe you're considering what upgrades to get for the low level players getting into pvm uh, and of course this video should offer a little bit of use when we get uh, the fresh start worlds and some newer players coming along as well the Cinderbane gloves are pretty much your best in stock gloves for any boss or any place of PVM where you can put to, uh, poison the target. Now, these also stack with weapon poison as well, so you definitely do want to be uh, using that too. So you can grab that out of your bank and you can apply that, and it does stack and increase your damage a lot. Now, Cinderbane gloves stacked with weapon poison is a huge DPS increase um, from not having them or using other gloves instead, and they aren't overly expensive. I'll put on the price on screen for Cinderbane gloves um, right now, of course, and while they're not the cheapest set of gloves they do hold their value for really really well in compared to what they are so as you can see just attacking this dummy here we have inflicted poison on it and i'll stand here and you'll see the poison tick through and it does do a good amount of damage and it doesn't add up over time the cinderbane gloves are 100 going to be the best things that you want to use in a lot of places uh, <laughs> colloquials distracting me a little bit there uh, in a lot of places so you definitely want to invest in these and like i say they will have huge value and i don't think at any point soon they'll become uh, like like irrelevant or anything and if anything there'll be an upgrade to these gloves coming at some point uh, at least that's my opinion that every other glove got a tier 90 upgrade cinder banes probably going to happen at some point soon the next things that are absolutely worth spending a good amount of money on and making sure you do have them uh, at the right time, don't just get these straight away, of course, is the DPS sigil abilities. So, for example, you can see here in my uh, constitution tab down here, I've got my demon slayer basic ability, I've got my dragon slayer basic ability, and I've got my undead slayer basic ability as well. These you buy off the grand exchange, or you can make them, but you just, just buy them on the grand exchange if you're not an iron man, of course. Um, and you can, you can actually increase your DPS a hell of a lot by using these. Now, all of these are actually worth using depending on the content that you're focusing on. So, at the moment, I'm doing a lot 
lot of Elite Dungeon 4 actual runs because I'm testing it out for 10 hours for a video coming up in the future. So keep an eye out for that one. But this Demon Slayer ability is incredibly good there because killing the demons that take the that take ages to kill, it's, in, it's very, very helpful. Like it, you can just notice the difference. It's really good. Now, the Dragon Slayer ability absolutely destroys an ED2 and gets you through there a lot quicker as well. Works on all of the bosses as well. So obviously it's, it's a 15% damage increase for 10 seconds. You're going to get a lot of damage off and a lot out of this when you're using like your sunshine your death swiftness or a berserk or, um berserk ultimate as well while using this this aura stacking them together you're going to get a lot out of it the same goes for when you use the undead slayer this is really good at ed3 uh specifically at taraket makes taraket so much easier if you struggle with taraket and you have a good amount of money and you're just like i want to get through this boss uh, i want to dump some money on making it a lot easier undead slayer makes taraket way easier the amount of damage you can do can get you through phases a lot quicker and of course you can use them as well to kill off the bloats as well in ed3 so i'll put the prices of these on screen as well at some point um but those are definitely in things that are worth investing in and you'll get a lot of use out of of course it's an ability so once you've used it it's used forever you can't sell it back or anything but you are going to be using them a lot and I don't doubt that there'll be other places in the future when they release new content that they'll, they'll, some of these will get more use as well so this next amazing way to spend your money, I definitely just teleported to the wrong place. This next amazing way to spend your money um, is, is one that was given to me in a recent video not too long ago, but it was given for community questions and it was more focused on saving money. But this goes the same way and I figured it was worth mentioning as that video didn't get as many views as this one probably will. And of course, it's going to be a different audience and whatnot, so we're, we're going to cover them both. So something you can do is spend your money on buying PVM supplies on the double experience weekend so for example if i come here to my pvms uh, tab here you can see all my stuff's running quite low i need more side of brews um i can get i need some more like adrenaline potions and whatnot and plenty more runes and all that sort of good stuff my instant sticks are all running out as well now a good time to buy all this sort of stuff and stock up big time if you have a good amount of money to be held in the in any way then you can stock up during or just after double XP. The prices of this stuff drops big time during double XP because people are crafting it all from the base things and then selling them off really, really cheap to grab their money back quickly. So you come to the Grand Exchange during that time to start buying all this sort of stuff up. Like um, I said, I need some cider and brews. Um, what you can look at this is if you, you buy these up now, they might be like 5% less. And that way in the future, when you buy more of them, or, or, uh, that way, rather than having to wait for the price to go back up again, you save yourself a little bit of money. It might only be like, like five to 10 mil per stack. And obviously the more you buy, the more you save. So kind of rich get richer sort of thing. But if you buy enough to last you the months between the double XPs, stack them in here, get through them. And then when you get back to double XP, you buy them again, you are always going to be saving money. So this is definitely something that is worthwhile like spending your money on because if you can do it at this point, you're making everything a lot cheaper and you're always going to save money in the long run. So thank you again to whoever shared this in the, the last community questions video. Um, this is great advice and I'm definitely going to do this myself. So there you go. The next great thing to spend all your money on is absolutely going to be cosmetic tokens. These are... <laughs> I'm joking. They're not. Don't you don't need to buy these. This is, this is just a joke. The next thing that I want to actually mention is because something that I noticed someone wasn't using recently, and I also had someone tell me on Discord that they didn't really use them because they didn't know they were worth it, and that is going to be the Ripper Demon Scrolls. People don't use these still. Still, and these are expensive. These can be quite expensive, but. Uh, for 342k for 100 scrolls the amount of dps increase you're going to get out of a ripper demon for using these scrolls is absolutely unreal like it, it genuinely is you want to be using these all the time if you're going to pvm to do bosses and stuff if you're doing slayer or you're doing like a really low level boss where you don't need the extra dps then sure you don't need to do that of course use your common sense with it you don't always have to do it if the, if the cost is going to outweigh the the, the the value for it but in most places, like the Art Glacier or even God Wars Dungeon 2, I would recommend using these. They're going to help out a lot. You're going to get a lot more kills per hour from using them. A regular Ripper Demon on its own can still do a good amount of damage, don't get me wrong. Adding these scrolls to it and then coming down here to set the auto fire rate here and set that to 1 is going to make it so it uses your Ripper Demon scrolls over and over and over again as soon as it can with the, the special move points. This is going to increase your DPS in PVM a lot. If you don't use these, then you're going to notice a massive difference straight away. One other thing I want to tie into this is these spiritual prayer potions as well. These are absolutely worth it too if you're pushing higher level bosses and you want to get faster kill times, or even if you're trying to hit like a DPS cap, like a, like a DPS mechanic, for example, you want to get through and you're, you're struggling a little bit. These will carry you big time. The spiritual prayer potions also restore your summoning points as well as your prayer points, uh, summoning special attack points, meaning when your familiar has used a special attack, if I run to Wall's Retreat right now, 
you can drink one of those and it's going to increase your points for it to do it again. So every time you use like a channeling ability or every time you're familiar with a spec, if you can keep up with it, just, just let that go through. It'll use a special attack as you can see in just a second. And then once it's done that, you can, you can just drink one of these potions. That goes back up and it can spec again. Now, if you watch, the special attack does about 2.7k there. So it's going to do another one in just a second. 3.4k on that one. The amount of damage this thing can do is really freaking good. So having these potions and just downing them over and over again, there's no cooldown or anything like that, is definitely a good way to spend your money if you're looking to increase your DPS. Of course, it's something you have to keep rebuying and restocking on, but you get so much damage out of this. If you're not using the um, special ability scrolls for the Ripper Demon and you're not using the spiritual prayer potions, you're missing out on a lot of damage. The only time you really wouldn't do this is if you need to use a different familiar for accuracy, like a Nihil, or if you're on magic, then of course, use a Calgarian Demon, assuming you have the Staff of Armadil. Otherwise, Ripper Demon it up, get the damage out. It's, it's absolutely worth it. Don't don't forget to use these scrolls. Don't think it's wasting your GP. If you're killing a boss more often, you're getting more kills in the same hour, the amount of time and stuff, This this it'll, it'll pay this back. It absolutely will. Just don't use it at places like God Wills 1 unless you're trying to get fast kills. Um, but otherwise, it, it, it makes you use them, man. They're, they're so freaking good. The final thing that I'm going to mention about spending your money on that is really good and is going to give you long time value is going to be getting elite tectonic instead of getting regular tectonic. Now, you can definitely spend your time signing something like Virtus Armor if you want to use the power armor, or you could even just use Ganodermic in all honesty and use Anime Dead if that's what you want to do uh, and just get yourself the elite tectonic. Because the reason being is repairing an elite tectonic set, while it is a lot more expensive to buy in the first place, repairing it is about 75 million GP to fully repair the set. That's only 75 mil, 12 patches to repair a full set of elite tectonic. Now, to buy a full set of regular tectonic armor, you are looking at way, if I can spell properly, uh, you're looking at way more than that for a regular set just to replace it. Now this stuff degrades the dust, of course, so it's 56 mil for the top and 38 mil for the bottom and then uh, 18, 19 mil for the, for the mask. This is per set every time it runs out. So it is actually way more expensive to upkeep the actual regular set of tectonic than it is to repair the, the elite tectonic. So if you can work on getting this first, you are gonna save yourself a lot of money in the long run because once this has been used, you can't sell it back. You can't upgrade this to elite tectonic and once it's been used as well, um, as the, the charge drains down, you can't do that. And, and so that, that set kind of just sits in your bank. You can disassemble it for perks and stuff. But overall, it is gonna save you money in the long run to get the regular tectonic because this is one of the, the sets that's absolutely worth getting elite elite version with whereas with range it's not really worth getting the elite range set because the serenic set because the regular is so cheap to buy uh, and the the other one is ridiculously expensive that the, mo the, the stuff you get out of it doesn't make sense but it makes sense to get the elite tectonic uh, mage set because the, the, the upkeep is just cheaper so in the, in the long run, you're going to be saving money anyway. So getting that upgrade and it being cheaper for you to actually get uh, is absolutely worth the extra. Of course, you can probably buy yourself a regular set of Tectonic, seeing as the Elite version is super duper expensive. Buy a regular set and then use that to make the money for the Elite set. Uh, but just don't keep buying over and over again the normal sets. Because by the time you've done that like three or four times, you could have just bought yourself the Elite set anyway and uh, you, you still need to get that so definitely keep that in mind and personally i would probably use virtus until you get to that point or something along those lines anyway um and then you can go ahead and upgrade straight to elite i think most a lot of people do this but um just wanted to mention it as it's definitely something that is worth knowing about and there we go that brings us to the end of this video and things that are definitely worthwhile spending your money on amazing things to spend your money on anyway if you did find this useful uh, do leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you are new around here channel members your names are on screen right now of course as always if anyone is interested in joining the channel membership you do get videos early and uh, there's some other perks as well like discord roles and all that sort of good stuff and also supports the channel a hell of a lot so thank you to anybody who does other than that Thank you all so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. I apologize about my voice if it does sound a bit weird. Um, my, my cough is still here. Well, hopefully, it's it's cleared up, ready for like the next video or tomorrow or something. And we get back to streaming soon too. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later, guys.